previously on coin quest quarters some pretty bizarre stuff going on in these four rolls right here we definitely have a chance at getting that west point quarter which is super rare those are selling for about 10 to 20 bucks on ebay at this moment and this time i'm just hoping that we can get something like that about three really nice edges there that we're going to check no way guys are you serious oh my gosh we actually got one take a look and now let's go ahead and take it back to where we left off With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and move on to roll number six out of 10 here. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we're gonna get. See if this second half is any kinder to us as far as silver slash Canadians, just any foreign, anything interesting uh, goes. So right off the bat here, this looks pretty clad to me. I'm seeing a lot of older looking ones on that right hand side. You can see a lot of the edges are worn off, especially that one right there, hardly any edge left on that uh, nothing super crazy is really uh, um, sticking out to me so I think I'm just gonna dump these and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at them on camera now just to see what comes out for us so that one right there is actually look at that the very first coin and right next to it's a 2014 this is the first one that's gonna be going in on that page which we said we have not found a single coin in that page yet Chickasaw 2011 right there and it's a Denver mint mark that is awesome guys finally getting a coin in on that page it took us it took us quite a few rolls to, to actually get a single coin in on that page it's just crazy because it's it's a modern coins you know you think that they'd be easy to find but they're not so uh, i guess that's what we're here to find out anyways all right so here we have a salt river bay let's uh flip that over to the reverse or obverse i guess and that's just in philadelphia so that's not going to be uh, anything interesting for us there's an illinois i can't remember if we need any more of those Another Salt River Bay right there with an Alabama next to it. That is a Philadelphia Mint Mark, so not going to be something we're interested in. But look at this, guys. We just got about halfway through this roll, and I think we just found another 2011 Chickasaw. And we'll take a look at the Mint Mark. It's a Philadelphia. What was the other one that we found? So the other one. Look at this, guys. In the, in the same roll, we were able to get the Philadelphia and the Denver of the 2011. We haven't been able to get any of those yet. That is awesome, so we don't need to be looking out for the Chickasaw anymore. There's a Saratoga 2015 right there. Got a 2020 coming up here with the Salt River Bay. That one's just a Philadelphia, so we will keep moving on. There's a Tennessee, actually. I think this is our first Tennessee, believe it or not. We have not been able to find this coin yet, so I'm happy to see that for sure. It's pretty rare that we would have a state quarter that hasn't been found this far into the hunt. How about this? We get a 2019 Lowell, Lowell right there. Or no, that's not Lowell. That's American Memorial Park. And I think that that's the first one we found. So this, this roll is definitely showing us some interesting coins that we haven't seen yet. Arizona, I know we already have. There is the, uh, what's that one? George, George Rogers Clark? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if I've seen this one yet. George Rogers Clark. All right, yeah. Definitely not one I've paid attention to in the past, and I don't think we've seen yet in uh, the series, so that's cool to see. Marsh Billings Rockefeller 2020 right there. Just looking for the W on these, we have all of the other ones. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and look at these coins, see what we can get into the collection, and I'll get back to you in just a sec. So pretty much keeping up that same pace, roll number six gave us seven coins. Those two 2011s definitely helped, and uh, was happy to get those into the collection. We're moving on to roll number seven now, trying to pick up the pace a bit, because I have a feeling that this is gonna be a pretty long video. So hopefully you guys are sticking around till the end. I appreciate you if you've made it this far into the video. You guys are the real ones. All right, so let's take a look at this roll right here. Once again, a few shiners definitely showing up here. Let's see if we can get uh, a real quick West Point quarter. That'd be really nice to pull out here. Be the first one into the collection. There's another 2020 Salt River Bay. What do we have here? Uh, another Salt River Bay. So that's a Denver Mint Mark right there. And that one's a Denver as well. Man, it would be nice to pull a West Point out of here at some point. Uh, that's a 2016 right there, uh, Harper's Ferry. I think we already have all of those. Another 2020 uh, Philadelphia Salt River Bay right there. So I think that's about going to be it. I don't see anything uh, super interesting showing up for us. So let's take a look at uh, each individual coin here. So 72, we have most of the uh, pre-1999s, uh, at least going back to 1965. Of course, we don't have any silver yet but uh, still looking out for it. What the heck is that? It looks like a 95, I think, but it's just super beat up and really hard to read. So that's interesting. Um, I was right. We were able to get our first Tennessee on the last roll. There's an Arkansas. I don't see too many of those. So 
that might be something to uh, to look out for. Ooh, in Idaho, once again, don't see too many of those. Here's an American Memorial Park. I think we had uh, one in the last roll. It ended up not going into the collection uh, because it wasn't the right mint mark. We'll have to check on that one. But it wasn't a West Point, so that's that's too bad. Another Delaware, we can check this one for the uh, Spitting Horse, which I brought up earlier in the video. Not seeing it on that. Getting down to the end of the roll, it looks like we have some older looking coins here. That's a 65, so close to silver, with a 66 right next to it. And there we have another Idaho to finish off the roll. Shout out to my fans in Idaho. I don't think I've ever heard anybody tell me that they're from Idaho who's watching these videos. But uh, if you are, definitely leave me a comment down below, guys. I'm going to see what we have on this roll. I'm not seeing too much that I think is going to go into the collection, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, but I'll get back to you once we figure it out. Okay, so I was right, guys. That was definitely the worst roll we've had so far, with only 2 out of 40 coins going into the collection. That's a mere 5% of coins in the roll. Hopefully this one will be better to us. Roll number 8 out of 10 for today's episode. Let's go ahead and open her up and see what we're going to get inside. Always hoping for some sort of silvery edge, but it uh, doesn't look like it's going to be this time. All right, so I'm seeing three, maybe four uh, nice shiny edges, so we'll just go ahead and check those real quick to see if we got a West Point. That's a Philadelphia. I don't really care uh, what it is at this point. It's probably going to be a uh, Salt River Bay, just like that one. So, you know. All right, here's a Marsh Billings Rockefeller. Hopefully this one will be good to us. Nope, just a Philadelphia. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these coins, see if we can get anything interesting, like maybe a 2009, because we haven't gotten any of those yet uh, in today's episode. Or, you know, 2010, 2011, those are always great to see. So let's just go ahead and take a look real quickly. There's a Tennessee. I'll definitely be looking at that one, because I know we still need one of the Tennessees. Arizona, I think we have. North Dakota, I'm pretty sure we have. Massachusetts, we definitely have. All right, here we go. A uh, 2020 coming out. Another American Memorial Park. And that's like the third in a row. Uh, we still haven't been able to get it in. I think we need just one more of those, but uh, we keep getting the wrong one. So <laughs> South Dakota, Hawaii. We know we're already done with Hawaii. And getting down to the end of the roll now. So I think this one might end up being kind of similar to that last roll with maybe two or maybe even just one coin going in. We'll see. I'll uh, take a look at these and let you know. Okay, so it turns out I was pretty far off base with roll number eight. We actually got six coins into it, and uh, it was definitely helped by the fact that we were actually able to get two coins in on this page right here, and they actually came in right next to each other. Somehow we have gone this far without getting a single 1978. And you can see right here we have the Philadelphia. There's no mint mark to the right-hand side of Washington. That's going to go right here. And then, just a few rolls, or a few coins later rather, we were able to get the 78 Denver. You can see the mint mark on the right hand side there. And that one's going to go in right there. So that is two coins in. And then we got a few uh, state quarters as well. So uh, that is a total of six coins on roll number eight. I am excited to see what rolls 9 and 10 have in store. So for the last two rolls, I figured I'd flip it over to the other side of the placemat to take a look at these pre-1965 silver quarters and the West Point quarter. Hopefully that'll give us some luck because that is what we typically are looking for in quarters. All of these state quarters are great and it's nice to fill in the collections, but uh, that's really the big stuff. That's what you want to be on the lookout for. And uh, I'm just hoping that we can get something like that before the episode ends. Looks like it's not gonna be coming from this roll though. All I'm seeing is clad on that one. Uh, once again, about three really nice edges there that we're gonna check, so hopefully we can get a West Point out of it. That's just looking like a Philadelphia right there. That's a Marsh Billings Rockefeller. So that one and the West Point Court, or in the uh, Salt River Bay, I don't know why I keep getting those mixed up, uh, have been coming out quite a bit. No way, guys. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, we actually got one. Take a look. So this is a 2020 West Point Quarter Marsh Billings Rockefeller. This is actually the second Marsh Billings Rockefeller West Point Quarter that I have found. And you can see right there, we definitely have the W Mint Mark. Oh my gosh, guys, turning it over to that side what definitely actually worked this time. I can't believe it. So there we have the West Point Quarter. That's obviously what we're looking for. It has the V75 Privy mark right there. And the one on, the, on this right here, this is actually a 2019. You can tell because it does not have uh, that marking. But we do have it on this one. It's a 2020 West Point Quarter. They only made 2 million 
of the Marsh Billings Rockefeller and then 2 million of every other design. So there was 10 million in total uh, in 2020 and 10 million in 2019. And these are just insanely difficult to find and we just got one. Unbelievable, guys. That is so cool. I will have to find a spot to put this in the collection because these collections do not provide a place to put those West Point quarters. Unbelievable. That is so, so cool. And I know you guys were probably getting tired throughout this episode of me just flipping over every single 2020, but that's why I do it. We have to see if we're going to get one. And, uh, you know, we definitely want to get it on camera when we do. That would have been cool to get uh, back to back right there. <laughs> But uh, unfortunately, that wasn't uh, wasn't going to happen that time. All right, so I don't think we're going to be able to top that out of this roll. Unbelievable, guys. So glad that we were able to capture that on camera and in the second episode as well. So very, very happy with that. And look at that, guys. Right in the same roll, we're going to get another 2011. It's a glacier in Montana. So that is awesome right there. That's going to be a Philadelphia mint mark. Another one into that page, which has been really difficult for us. What a roll. I cannot say enough good things about this roll right here. So let's see uh, if we're going to get anything else out of it. I just saw a Tennessee. I think we're still looking out for one of those Tennessee uh, quarters. Oh, here we go. We got a Wisconsin. I don't think I've actually seen this yet. It would be really nice to get the extra leaf. Now I'll put a picture of that up uh, on the left-hand side here so you guys can see what that looks like. I don't think we have it in this one, either the high or low leaf. I've never been able to find the extra leaf, but uh, I'm always looking out for it. It's definitely a nice one, and I think I've seen one in a coin shop for like 100 bucks or something like that, so definitely one you want to be on the lookout for. But just in general for us right now, Wisconsin I haven't really seen come out too much. Pennsylvania is another one. I think that we, we might need to be uh, looking for that one in the collection as well. This is just an insanely good roll. Very happy. Oh, wow, look at this. So we actually have a 2019 right here. This is one that I, I don't think I've ever seen this one come out. River of No Return is almost for sure going to be going into the collection. We have a chance for a West Point. Can we get two in the same roll? Let's take a look. W for Wilderness or W for West Point? Three, two, one. Oh, unfortunately, just going to be a Denver mint mark, but I think that one is going to be going into the collection. What an amazing roll, guys. And look at that, a 2014 Arches. I'm not sure if we need that one or not i think we just need one of them now but uh, unbelievable roll and we're going to finish it off with a couple of very common coins i just can't believe that we were able to get another west point so soon after getting the last one and i'll go ahead and put a link up to that video where i found that and that was actually in a competition coin roll hunt with my brother kevin i can't believe it guys these are these are difficult to find i found a few of them already this is my third so far uh, but I've heard of people going boxes and boxes and boxes without finding a single one. So very happy to have that right there and very happy to be putting it into the collection. All right, so that roll was pretty insane. We were able to get another six coins into the collection, including this beautiful West Point Marsh Billings Rockefeller quarter. Now, like I said earlier, I don't really have a spot to put that into the collection. So uh, for now, what I'm going to do is probably just gonna go ahead and put it right here on this last page. So this is where the 2020s go. I'll put it down here at the bottom. And then what I intend to do, because I do need these spots for the 2021s uh, when they do come out, I'll probably just get an additional page and then put all of the 2020 West Point quarters I find on that uh, additional page on the back there. But I'll have to order that and put it in uh, in a little bit. So I'm probably just gonna put it, stick it down here right on the bottom right corner and uh, put it there for safekeeping, at least for now. All right, so there it is safely into the bottom right corner of the collection right there that nice v75 and of course the west point mint mark really can't do much better than that so now we are down to our last roll for this episode our last chance for silver last chance for canadian until the next one let's go ahead and open it up and see what we can get and if we can get two west point quarters in a row i wouldn't be mad at that either all right so this one's kind of coming apart funny as you can see, <laughs> we have quite a few shiners. There's no doubt about that. A lot of them on that right-hand side there. So we definitely have some chances for West Point. Uh, don't really see anything that looks silver, though. So I think that's going to be uh, what we're going to focus on here. Let's take a look at this one first off. So that one's going to be a Philadelphia Salt River Bay. And this one also looks pretty shiny. Another Salt River Bay. I don't think we've gotten a Salt River Bay West Point. I'm trying to think of what the other one was. I know I got Marsh Billings Rockefeller. Oh, and then the other one was American Samoa. That's what it was. Here we have a Denver Mint Mark. This one's looking really nice. 
Salt River Bay, of course. <laughs> I have quite a few really nice looking Salt River Bays. Um, I'm, I'm, there's probably a lot of people watching this who are having a hard time finding this one and they're like, are you kidding me? You get all the Salt River Bays, huh? So there's a Philadelphia and we'll flip this last one over. That one's just a Denver. So no, no West Points, uh, at least in that batch. We'll take a look at the rest of these coins. They didn't really come out as nice as they usually do on this one, unfortunately. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look here. So we've got an Indiana right there. I don't see that one too often. Uh, in the last roll, I was saying I haven't really seen any of the Wisconsins, and that was actually correct. I hadn't found a single Wisconsin yet, either out of Philadelphia or Denver. So that was my first Wisconsin. Still looking for uh, one more, though. There's another Salt River Bay right there. Not going to be West Point. Uh, a lot of these are looking familiar, though, so I think that we're probably not going to get too many in, except for maybe this Kansas right here, and there is an air actually to be looking out for on the Kansas quarter. It's actually one that's attainable. I found it a few times. So if we flip it over here, what we're looking for over here on the right-hand side where it says, In God We Trust, we're actually looking for it to say, In God We Rust, or some variation of of uh, basically missing those first few letters there. It's caused by a grease error, and I'll put a picture up so you guys can take a look at that. Um, I'm not seeing it in this one though, so we will put that one back, but it's definitely something to be looking out for if uh, just in case you haven't uh, heard about that one yet. All right, so I'm gonna look through the rest of these. Nothing to, uh, is really uh, poking out at me, so I will take a look, see if we get any into the collection, and I will let you know. All right, guys, so that 10th roll ended up better than expected. We were able to get six coins out of it. I know, spooky, triple six, but uh, check this out. In the statehood quarters, we actually had something pretty crazy happen. So, so I, I, th this keeps happening, and I can't explain how, but uh, the Oregon, we hadn't found a single one yet. We, we were able to get the Philadelphia, Denver, and then over here with that Kansas quarter that you saw, that was a Denver, and we needed that right there. So I'm going to push all three of those coins in right now. And boom, there you go. That entire section is completed. So just like that on that last roll, didn't look like we were going to fill that in, but we did. So that was pretty cool. So we'll just real briefly take a look at all of our progress throughout today's video. We're definitely filling these out a lot more. Still have some work to do in those 60s and 70s though, as you can see. Uh, looks like this is the one that's super loose and that's why it's kind of turning around in its little uh, sleeve there. Not too many coins to find left on that page. Only a single one left on this page and then we have the rest of that filled out. So we're doing really well there. Really not too much uh, to find left in that except for the silver ones. Uh, as far as the state coins go, I actually made a mistake earlier. I had a Georgia quarter for some reason sitting in this slot, so I had to pull that one out. Not really sure if, uh, hopefully we didn't miss the 99 Denver, uh, Pennsylvania because of that. But uh, yeah, mostly filled out here. We got all the 2000s, all the 2001s, still some work to be done in the 2002, 2003, kind of, you get the idea there. Uh, 2005s looks like completely filled out though, so happy with that, like I was saying earlier. We were able to get those organs uh, right in there at the last second. And uh, pretty good work on that part as well. Uh, we didn't find a single 2009 today, which I think is pretty crazy. So nothing is going into that District of Columbia collection. But this one right here, we definitely got filled out. Um, and uh, obviously, we were able to get a couple of 2011s, which is great to be finally starting on this page. Still no 2010s, though. I think that's the only year that we have not found a single coin from. Uh, we were able to, able to get a 2012 and a 2013 into that page right there. And uh, things are looking pretty good on these pages as well. Those 2018s, 2019s are still being stingy for some reason. 2020s looking great. And of course, you can't forget the West Point V75 2020 Marsh Billings Rockefeller that we were able to get. That is just an astounding find, especially this early into the series. So out of those 10 rolls, we were able to get 66 new coins into the collection. And when you add that to the 120 that we got in the first five rolls, that's 186 coins into the collection already in just 15 rolls. Guys, as always, if you want to pick up one of these coin roll hunting placemats to aid you in your own dime or quarter or half dollar roll hunting, you can head on over to quinscoins.com. I'll put links down in the description below. You can also pick up penny placemats and nickel placemats there as well. But anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Thank Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week. Always bring you along with the hunts and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins signing out. And I will see you in the next episode of Coin Quest Quarters.